Good morning, YouTubers. Rainy day here in Ohio. Just uh, kind of sprinkling now and then. But uh, here's what's left of the frame. Cut it up in sections. Uh, it's getting ready to go into the scrap. Uh, I did check the rear diff. It looks nice. Took the cover off and verified it is a 410 gear. And uh, anyway, everything looked good in there. Went ahead and cleaned the cover up and everything, put it back on. Um, these rear ends are uh, fairly valuable, so we'll probably sell it. I don't have any use for it right now, but uh, the rest of this is scrap, and that's what uh, that's what the salt will do to them. And I found a a little uh, indication of why this thing is so bad. Uh, the thing was in Massachusetts for a while. Looks like up until 2008. So. Uh, I mean, our weather here in Ohio gets pretty rough, but as far as I'm concerned, theirs is worse. <clears throat> so, uh, these frames here, uh, you know, you get under one truck, they look, a, they look identical on the outside. Maybe you get under one, the frame will be solid as it can be, and the next one will look like this. Um, I'm not sure the rhyme or the reason of it. Some, you know, you can speculate why guy didn't take care of it or didn't drive it in the snow or whatever but i don't i don't know that to be true um they just think some of them were undercoated or painted better from the factory but uh salt certainly makes a difference and uh when it gets up in like around those pockets where the cab mounts are that salt lays in there it can't it can't dissolve <clears throat> once it gets up in them cracks and crevices and it just sits there and eats on it for years so uh that's what you're dealing with here uh, you know, when the leaf springs are even rusted to the point of, of uh, you know, where they're not any good, you know, you've got some serious corrosion. But the differential is good. Um, interestingly enough, I was standing out here yesterday fooling around. I uh, heard a noise, and then I heard a huge noise. And uh, if you can see it or not, see if I can boom that out. See that kind of flat spot on that wrecker up there? The daggone tire blew out while I was standing out here. And the wrecker was sitting still. Had this little tractor on a trailer, but you know, that's not a great deal of weight. But uh, kind of made a hissing noise and then sounded like a 12 gauge went off over there. But here's part of the frame. Getting ready to pick all this junk up and clean this mess up. And, uh, if I get a chance today and then pour in the rain, I might drag that other frame down here. So uh, hope everybody's having a good day. Uh, there's, a, there's there's another tire for the record bolt right on there. So uh, I think that's it. Brake line decided to drain itself right there, even though I pinched it off. Um, anyway, it's nice and cool out here today. We'll get this uh, get this done. I got to leave here about noon today, so we won't get much done. But uh, keep watching, and uh, one of these days this thing will be a truck again. Uh, like and subscribe if you can, and. Any questions or comments, I always try to answer them. So uh, have a good day.